Welcome to a new video. The Los Santos Mercenaries DLC is launched. There are still lots of Drifted content which Rockstar is going to release in the upcoming months. In this video I'm going to show you all unreleased DLC events. When you want to see the video with all the Drifted vehicles, watch the video which appears on the screen after you finish this video about the events. I put the link in the description below. The first unreleased event is the Junk Energy Time Trial. The Inductor Bicycle is one of the Driffy vehicles which probably is going to be launched with the Junk Energy Time Trial event. You are able to beat your time daily to earn rewards. For this time trial which is located on Mount Kiliad, you can only use the Inductor Bicycle. This is the map with the location of the time trial. I also show you the route. The leaks reveal that Junk Energy Time Trials can pay 52,000 GTA dollars upon completion and that the first time reward includes a Junk Energy Racing Suit. Players aren't required to own an inductor to participate in it, either. This is because the game apparently will provide them with one. The next event are the Armored Trucks. Armored Trucks will finally be returning to GTA Online sometime later in the San Andreas Mercenaries update. This random event was removed back in 2015, and it involved players breaking into a moving armored stockade for cash. You would use an explosive on the truck's back to make it drop whatever money that vehicle had. Players could potentially make 25,000 through this feature once again. There are no significant rewards past the small cash some gamers can get for participating in this content. The next unreleased event is the Assault on Keio Perico. A very interesting feature from GTA Online San Andreas Mercenaries to talk about is tied to Keio Perico. Rockstar has teased a return to this island for a big battle. The datamine leaks suggests that there will be a new adversary mode called Assault on Keio Perico. One team will try to breach El Rubio's compound to hack a computer, whereas the other party is tasked with stopping them. The only unique rewards leaked thus far for this activity are trade prices for the Manchez Scout and Squatty. The next events are going to be released with Halloween. First we have the Ghost Hunt Collectible event. This awesome event is going to be part of it and will involve players taking snapshots of certain ghosts between 8pm and 6am. A different apparition will spawn in another location every hour. On the screen you see the map with the locations of the ghosts. The 10th ghost datamined is none other than Johnny Clements. This one is still at the location where Trevor Phillips stomped on him. GTA Online players who photograph all 10 apparitions will get a ghost's exposed livery for the Brigham. For Halloween, as usual, the various winks and other allusions to aliens will be back in October in GTA Online. UFOs will always be present in the sky, except that this time, after joining the light under a flying saucer, we will be able to see for a moment that we are lying on an operating table. Participating in this event will unlock a piece of clothing specific. Also for Halloween, different possessed animals may appear in free mode. When you want to see my video about all leaked Halloween events, watch the video which appears on the screen. You can find the link in the video description. September 17th will mark the 10th anniversary of GTA 5, to celebrate this, different themed t-shirts will be unlockable. This year will also mark the 25th anniversary of Rockstar Games, there too, the studio will mark the occasion with exclusive clothing. When this video is helpful for you, you can help me back by subscribing on my channel. I appreciate when you leave a like on this video and post a comment. I'm happy to reply you back. I hope to see you in my next video.